Awesome! I came to I play! I came to play! There's a price to pay! Time for you to get down on your knees! I, I came pray. to you say goodbye to the good old days! They're never coming back! Watch if you can! I came to you! I came to you! What's up y'all, Perry the Entertainer here giving you guys another video. I have two topics I want to talk about tonight. <clears throat> uh, as you guys can see already, uh, I have a other vi I have a like a web series thing whatever on my other channel, youtube.com slash user slash the uh, X the Entertainer Show X. Uh, please go subscribe there. Also if you haven't already, please go subscribe up there before I start talking about my topics tonight. Um, these are these are both coming off of Raw ten or last night, and some a news story that I found earlier today. But today's we're gonna talk about Alex Riley and his face turn, and Karma and her future. Um, so to start off with, <clears throat> so to start off with Alex Riley. Alex Riley apparently turned face yesterday, beating up on the Miz. Now, I was setting up on my iPod real quick. That I was gonna set up a timer, and I can't do that because it doesn't do minute. It doesn't do seconds. But whatever, I'll just do a stopwatch. Obviously, you guys know I'm a Miz fan, so I'm gonna rant about Alex Riley for 30 seconds as a Miz fit, and then I'm just gonna, you know, tell you guys what I really think about this whole situation. So ready? And go. Oh my god, are you serious? Alex Riley, you're a freaking idiot. The Miz brought you into the WWE and look what you do to him. Where are you gonna go now? You got smacked down. You're never gonna get anywhere. You're gonna get set back, you little stupid freaking retard. Do I have to get somebody to make you beg on your knees to get the Miz to give you back your job, you worthless, self-centered, egotistical. Hey, time's over. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that was just as a Miz fit, guys. That was not really intended. Uh, I'm not really an Alex Riley fan, anyway. So, um, but other than that, it was an okay thing. The Miz really does need something to do other than his thing with uh, John Cena, which went down the tubes as of over the limit um so I guess I guess this means Alex Riley staying on Smackdown as a face um I can see why because Smackdown is losing all the faces I think that's one of the reasons why they took the tag titles off the Big Show and Kane besides be Big Show being written off of TV but anyway um Smackdown does need those faces and that's what I really want to make this video on before I get to the karma part of the show um, look on SmackDown right now. You have, for faces, you have Randy Orton and you got Christian. Christian, we don't know where he's going to go. Randy Orton, obviously, is the face of SmackDown right now. Look who you have on the heel side of SmackDown. You got Sheamus, Mark Henry, the soon tag team of the Great Khali and Jinder Mahal. You've got all of these good main eventers, well, Mark Henry's not good, but Sheamus, Sheamus is a good main eventer, but for him to be a heel on, but for him to be a heel on SmackDown really just doesn't do it with me, I really don't, I can't even take him seriously on SmackDown anymore, he used to be a dominant force on Raw, now he's a dominant force on SmackDown, but it's too easy, I mean, look who you, the, the main guy on SmackDown's Randy Orton, and Randy Orton's probably a half or a third of what John Cena is right now. He's not the poster boy, but he's getting all the movie deals and stuff. That's the reason why I really compared him to John Cena today. <clears throat> but, going back, I think this would be a great thing for Alex Riley. Um, I'm not really an Alex Riley fan, but he can definitely win me over if he does the right thing tonight at SmackDown's tapings. Now, I don't have school on Friday, so and that's kind of when I'm off. I'm off this Thursday, so... Uh, I'm done with school this Thursday, so I'm probably going to make my uh, SmackDown spoilers videos a whole lot earlier. Um, 
So tomorrow's is probably going to be the only one that it's actually going to be... It's probably actually going to be at like 10 or something like that because I come home early. But anyway, just getting back. Alex Riley, Alex Riley. Just focus on Alex Riley. I don't know if this is supposed to separate his ties with The Miz. If The Miz, he's supposed to have some sort of match with The Miz at Capital Punishment. Um, if he's going to go to SmackDown and, you know, be the next in line for an Intercontinental title match. I don't know. You guys put that in the comments down below before I start talking about Karma. Go down in the comments section. What is the future of Alex Riley? Alex Riley now apparently is a face unless he was just mad that uh, The Miz fired him, which I can totally see why. I mean, you have to beat up your boss when you get fired. But anyway, that's not... The time is over. But anyway... Um... The next t topic I want to talk about is Karma. Karma, she's been in this very, 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 very weird thing going on lately. Um, especially with this whole tag team thing. They had this tag, eight man, eight woman tag team match. Eve, Kelly Kelly, Beth Phoenix, and Gail Kim took on the Bellas, Maurice, and Melina. And I can't believe I remember that. But. We get not even 10 seconds in the match. Karma comes out, and Karma gets in the middle of the ring. The Divas are circling the ring, but then Karma gets on her knees and starts crying. So, um, I was reading on a few websites, and according to F4W Online, this is off of LordDePain.net, but this is also reporting from that. Alright, so, like I said, I already told you guys about what happened last night. Quote, or, and I quote, F4W Online reports that the angle, was the angle with her start crying was scripted to write Karma off of television for a time being. She is expected to be sidelined for over nine months, meaning she's going to be off TV for the end of the year. I don't know how, and it says the reason for her removal of television um, has been disclosed. I don't know the whole thing going on here. Um... I don't know if they're sending her back to de developmental or something. Are they firing her? Are they... Or does she have a deal going on? Did she get drug policy something? What happened? I just... Well, Karma can't have any drug policies. I know that because she's never really had that. But she's been uh, booked. I think I still have it open. She was... Yeah, she was arrested in 2010 for driving without a valid license, so karma's a rebel. But anyway, um, I was seeing her being Diva's champion, and that's the thing that disappointed me. Black with Evil, I was trying to tell him he's not in a good mood today. And, you know, Black with Evil 2 is a huge karma fan. He's in a bad mood, so I'm trying to kind of calm him down. Um, that's why I'm doing this video single today, actually. I was planning on doing a double, but I'll just do it single today. Um, I guess... No, no, no. I don't think that... This is this is not it for Karma. I don't think so. I think... She's probably gonna put it on Twitter or something and say, like, what are you guys talking about? I'm not leaving WWE or whatever. Um, I don't understand this. Like, okay, this is what I was talking about during... Uh, if you guys don't know already from my Raw recap yesterday, my internet was going down, so... Uh, you know, I had to edit my Skype calls out and stuff, so... Um, what I was talking about during it was, during the karma part, I was thinking somebody was controlling her, and that's why I thought she was crying. Because obviously she has no problem beating up all of these other divas. But she gets circled by eight of them. Six of them you already beat up. You already beat up Eve, the Bellas, that counts as two, Maurice... And I'm talking about two other chicks. Never mind. That's four out of the eight girls are you haven't beaten up yet. You haven't beaten up Kelly Kelly. You haven't beaten up Eve. Or not? Yeah, you've beaten up Eve. You haven't beaten up Beth Phoenix. You haven't beaten up Gail Kim. At, well, except for her TNA days. And you haven't beaten up Melina. Honestly, I don't get why they're taking her off of TV. Um... If, like I said, if there is something with a drug policy, I don't know about it, guys. If I did know a lot more about it, I will definitely tell you guys. You guys are 
amazing. I love every one of you guys. So that's why I'm telling you guys right now, breaking news, I am never leaving YouTube. Never. But anyway, just saying, that was all the news that I think I'm probably going to have today besides the game. Yeah, Chicago's winning. Alright, um, the game's on right now, so I'm probably not going to make a video right now. If I'm going to make a video, it's probably going to be on this. I have never made a basketball video yet, so might as well start. So, um, yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, down in the description box will be the article from uh, Lords of Pain. I'll try and see if I can find the... Um, F4W Online one. If you just go to F4W Online, it'll probably be on there too, but uh, link will be down in the description box. Please follow me on Twitter. Link will be also down in the description box. Also, first time I, I think I've ever plugged my channel. Um, please go subscribe to my behind the scenes channel, X The Entertainer Show. X, please go subscribe over there. Uh, you won't regret it. It's basically everything that I do normally like I just basically my life I just uploaded a video about me playing basketball um so yeah I hope you guys enjoy that uh I probably will make a video maybe tomorrow I will have a very in interesting one on Friday just saying I will have a very interesting one on Friday anyway that's my show tonight guys Perry the Entertainer signing off and peace out